Hey guys, look what I have found, the Mini Brands Series 5. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit bummed because I didn't complete Series 4 before this one came out, but what are you gonna do? I'll tell you more info about them between each ball. Now let's see what new miniatures are introduced in this series. Well, that's not a good start, but it's really interesting. The balls are actually white. Uh, for a second there, I thought they're actually purple balls, which, you know, um, in series four, we had the blue balls, which wasn't great. And if these were actually purple balls, yeah, that's that that can be, <laughs> that can be good, right? Another interesting thing is the shape of the ball. It's actually round and it doesn't have the slices like all the other series. In fact, it's exactly the same size as the foodie mini brands and the mini fashion uh, balls, I guess. And as you noticed inside, there's actually paper pouches which I guess it's good in a way, it's less plastic, right? We got our collector guide here, which we're gonna check in a little bit. All right, here we go. First ever mini from series five. All right, we got a Marchand bowl. This time it's the chicken flavor. If you remember, series four wave two has the shrimp bowl. So it's exactly the same. It's just that it's, you know, with shrimp flavor. It's a really cool mini, but nothing new because we've already seen this type of mini. All right, this is interesting. This never happened before. With the slices, you know, with the previous balls where it was orange slices, we never got a double in the same ball. But yeah, this is problematic if you ask me. We cannot have doubles in the same balls. It's it's bad enough that we get so many doubles in general. I hope this was just, um, I don't know, like a glitch or something. Here we have a box. It's the Jelly Belly Bean Boozled box. And it seems like we got the metallic one. So we have our first rare, I guess. Now this one is cool. We got the Campbell's SpaghettiOs Original A to Zs. They upped their game with the cans. See, they look more metallic. I think the ones in previous series, whenever we got cans, they used to be very, um, it was just like a gray. It wasn't like a, you know, aluminum type of color. So I'm really glad to see they improved on that. Oh, wait a minute. There's something else in here. Oh, wow. Look at that. We got euros. It's a little bit hard for me to pronounce that word. <laughs> so this series is going to be interesting whenever I get uh, these stashes of cash. But what's interesting is that it's a different currency this time. And this is a stash of 100 euros. And then with that, we also got the Minute Made original orange juice box. It looks really cool. I'm so happy whenever there's minis that I'm really familiar with. They give you this nice feeling. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. So far, I really like this series. I'm so excited to open all of these. Later on, we're going to have a look at the collector's guide too. So don't you worry. This is a problem I have again with the wrapping of these. See how hard it is to get that first layer off? Many brands kept telling you, I guess you don't watch my videos. <laughs> Fix this issue. It's really, really frustrating. It, it takes a lot of the joy of opening and collecting these. Just, you know, this frustration with the packaging. Well, this is definitely something new to me. It's called Frutella Summer Fruits. And based on what I see on the package, they're very similar to Starbursts. Pretty cool mini nonetheless. I'm curious how they taste compared to Starbursts. All right, this is another brand that's very familiar. It's the Kettle Potato Chips. Very nice and squishy, it has that foam inside. Personally, I'm not a big fan of the Kettle Chips. It's, I don't know, they just feel too, too hard, you know? Now this is what I'm talking about, the Marochan Yakisoba. We got the teriyaki beef flavor. If you've never had these, you need to give them a try. I absolutely love them. I do prefer the chicken flavor, so um, you should give that one a try. I, I definitely recommend it. A very special friend introduced me to these, and ever since, I have not looked back. Every time I get a chance and I have like a cheat day, I grab like two or three of these and just make them all at once. Put them in a big bowl. I don't know if you've heard this in my voice by now, but my mouth is watering. And as as a miniature it is um it's spot on there's yeah there's absolutely nothing wrong with it good job mini brands so far i'm really delighted with this series all right this is another campbell's product this time it's the chunky series i guess it's beef with country vegetables not a big fan in general of canned you know soup or stew but um as a mini it looks exactly how you see it on the shelves 
Oh, look at this. We have more, um, what do you call it? Hygiene products. This is the shaving cream from Edge, or rather the shaving gel. It's the green one. Something tells me there's going to be other types in this particular series. Here's another cool mini and a company that I'm very familiar with, Pepperidge Farm. We got the German chocolate layer cake. Again, even though it's just a box, being familiar with the company, I don't know, just makes you like the cardboard boxes as well. Or maybe it's just me. All right, here we got the Jelly Belly Sours. It looks a little bit strange. I mean, I'm not a big fan of jelly beans in general, but is this how this box is supposed to look? I'm pretty sure there's some experts out there that could uh, clarify that for us in the comments. And then we got more money. This time it's a Canadian dollar, I think, right? That's what you guys call them, Canadian dollars. And there's the helicopter. Give me just a second. This is a big bottle of Minute Maid Zero Sugar Fruit Punch. As a mini, it looks absolutely spectacular. Even the cap, see how they got the details, like the, you know, Minute Maid had that very specific cap for these types of bottles. They even got the logo on the cap itself. I'm always excited when I see new types of mini, you know? Not just boxes that are, you know, from different brands, different print on them. There's nothing new about that. But plastic minis that, you know, are different shapes. Really, really like this one. Another very familiar product. This is the Prego Garden Chunky Tomato Onion and Garlic. This is so cool. And see how they thought about every detail. Like it's not just painted red. If you look closely, you can see the little, you know, specks of uh, either condiments or all types of greens or whatever they put in there. And that's another key detail that makes it look so real. The cap itself also looks very realistic. It's very, you know, metallic. Exactly how it looks on jars like these. Okay, what in the world is this? Color hide my designer. Hi oh, highlighters. Okay, they look pretty cool. I'm not familiar with these types of highlighters, but um, I do appreciate how they went the extra mile to create this type of packaging, which is new. We've never seen this before, but all in all, pretty cool mini. Okay, I think it's time to have a closer look at this collector's guide. I'm really curious to see what minis are in the series and I'll let you know exactly what my favorites are. These are the frozen moments. I absolutely love the Yakisoba and the Coca-Cola one. These are the gold ones. We got a gold bottle of Coca-Cola, some Tabasco, Campbell soup, glow in the dark ones, metallic ones. We already have one of those. We got the Bean Boozled. And then we have the common ones. I really like this section because it has the cans. Okay, I think this is my favorite series. I mean, look at those. They were able to actually strike a deal with Coca-Cola. I mean, they have their products right there. That's crazy. We got some more stuff over here. And then on this other side, we got some office things. We got the banana sport, banana boat um, sunscreen. This is actually really interesting because it seems like we got some stuff that's regular size, I guess, I mean, miniature regular size. And then we have some that are even smaller than that. This is very new. They, they've never done something like this before. So I'm really curious to see what this is all about. Then we have the stacks of cash from different countries. This is very interesting. They moved from Bitcoin to Dogecoin. So I hope this bag will not be as hard to find as the one from series four. And then some accessories. And then this is another newly introduced thing. They have these boxes. See, it's like UPS, FedEx, and then there's supposed to be some mystery mini inside. So I'm really curious to see what this is all about. They've, they've never done this before. They call them mini minis. So are they referring to these? Maybe, right? Maybe the small ones are what's inside these UPS and FedEx boxes. And then based on what it says here, it seems like there's gonna be a collector's case once again, and then a advent calendar. I guess it's gonna take a while until we get the advent calendar because it's it's just May, it's nowhere near Christmas or anything. And then this is very interesting. If you pay attention, there's a foodie mini brand series two that is advertised. We know nothing about this series. I haven't seen it anywhere. Really excited about this one. Foodie mini brands is in general, one of my favorite series. So yeah, that was the collector's guide. Hope you got something useful out of that. Let's uh, move on and open some more of these. No way. Oh my God, we actually got a frozen moment. <laughs> what? 
Like, what are the chances? All right, let's put it together real quick. This is so cool. Look at that, our very first frozen moment. Maybe it's supposed to be. There we go. We got the two tacos with the Tabasco sauce. It looks amazing. Let me try and give you a close-up look. Look at those delicious tacos. Hmm, I don't think I would put that much hot sauce on them, but <laughs> to each their own, I guess. And this is the little Tabasco hot sauce. All right, let's, uh, let's move on. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> All right, this is something I've never seen in the stores. It's uh, Campbell's sauces and it's the chicken marsala sauce. All right, this is another interesting looking miniature. It's the banana boat baby mineral. Uh, I'm guessing it is, um, is it sunscreen? Oh yeah, it actually says they're 50 plus. Okay, so yeah, this is a uh, baby sunscreen. I need to make sure every time that there's no money in there. This is one of my favorite cookies ever. It's uh, from Pepperidge Farm. It's the Milano. The crumbliness, I guess, if you can call it that, of the cookie with the chocolate. It's very buttery. It's, it's, this is amazing. If you've never tried this and you have it around you and you see it in stores, because I know you guys are watching me from all over the world, get yourself some of these. I think you're going to love them. It's a really nice looking uh, mini. It's very similar to when we used to have the donuts. I think it was series two or one i forgot we got our first double the color hide highlighters all right we got another ball of marchan bowl chicken flavor Here's another new mini. This time we got the Campbell's chicken noodle soup, which is, I guess, one of their most classic ever soups. Isn't this the first soup they ever made? Oh, sorry, it's actually the condensed Campbell's chicken noodle soup. Again, very, very detailed mini. I mean, look at that. They nailed the can. I like how it's, you know, the sticker is nicely put here. It's not too high or too low. They're doing a great job. I feel like mini brands in general are better and better, at least with the with the plastic minis. I really wish they would eliminate the cardboard boxes altogether, but Oh well. For a second there, I thought that this box is actually one of those uh, UPS or FedEx boxes with a smaller mini inside. But nope, it's uh, another double. The Pepperidge Farm German Chocolate Layer Cake. Wait a minute, what? Oh, this is from Series 4, isn't it? Oh god, I'm just noticing now. I don't know why I didn't I didn't realize when I looked at the collector's guide. It seems like they have some minis that are repeating from series 4, which is not great. We got the Slurpee, we got this, the Fruit Loops for sure, the Bazooka, the Pringles, the Nail Polish. I think that was it. Or at least I hope. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I was starting to worry that they have a lot of them like they had with previous series. I, I, I'm blanking right now. I don't remember, but okay. Good, good, good. So either we don't get money in every single ball or I'm just like not looking correctly and I'm losing some of them, but I guess I'll look before I clean up. This is the Jelly Belly Buttered Popcorn. I did try this one. I actually like it. I'm gonna admit, not a big fan of Jelly Belly in general. I mean, jelly beans, but um, this one is actually pretty good. I think this might be a hot sauce. It's from Pace. It's called Original Picante Sauce. I am not familiar with this brand, but I really like the mini. Another, you know, differently shaped type of mini. All right, I do love the German chocolate layer cake, but um, this is getting a little bit too much. Okay, another double. We got the yakisoba teriyaki beef flavor. And another double, we got the Jelly Belly Buttered Popcorn. And another double. We got a lot of doubles in this ball. The Minute Made Zero Sugar Fruit Punch. I think we only, yeah, we only got one that was not a double, which was the Pace Hot Sauce. I almost forgot to tell you guys, I found these at Showcase last year. They opened a store in a big mall that's close-ish to me so I got them directly from there but I think they should have them online also as you expect just like Claire's showcase jacked the price and I paid $12.99 for each of these but to do this video for you guys I think it was worth every single penny all 
All right, I guess the doubles are starting to pour in. This is another Frutella Summer Fruits, which again, if you're skipping through the video, looks like it's very similar to Starbursts. Okay, this is new. We got a gallon of Minute Maid orange juice. It says over there, low pulp, which uh, brings me to a interesting question that I know a lot of people debate on. If you have a choice, do you get pulp, no pulp, or low pulp? I said pulp so many times that at this point, the word just lost its meaning. But seriously though, I personally prefer um, pulp. What about you? All right, another new mini. This is the Campbell's classic tomato sipping soup. What's the difference between, I don't get it. What do you mean sipping soup? Heat, sip, and go. Shake well, pull up. Uh, oh, okay. So it's like a, oh, I get it now. It's like a coffee cup almost. You drink it like this. You don't need to use a spoon or anything. You just drink it, I'm guessing, through that little hole there. Interesting. I can see this being done when it's cold outside and you just want to take it with you, you know, while you drive to work, while your car is getting warmed up. You sip on a little bit of classic tomato soup. Wait a minute, I felt something in here. Ha, more money. Seems like these are francs, I think. 100 cent francs. I haven't seen this uh, type of currency before, but I'm sure some of you watching are actually using this type of currency. And then we got some gum, big babble. I haven't seen this type of gum before. It looks very delicious though. I mean, it's like a two flavor type of gum. I'm guessing it's um, strawberry and cream based on how it looks. Very tiny mini. It's very similar to the bubble yum that we used to have in series uh, three. And another double, the Campbell's chunky beef with country vegetables. All right, this is a new one. It's the Airheads Extremes. We did have Airheads in series one, if I remember correctly, but not exactly this type of packaging. Pretty cool. It's the Rainbow Berry. Nice. We got the Banana Boat Sport Ultra 50 plus uh, sunscreen. This is also, I think, wait, let me see. Yeah, this is the same one that's right here on the display case. Yes, I do have some extra ones in here, but I'm saving them for a short and one of them I need as a background. And then I have a few projects, you know, but fear not from here on out. Obviously, I'm going to open a lot more of these because I want to complete this series as well, even though I still need to complete series four and then the foodie series. But I'm sure we'll get there eventually. Okay, this one seems to be very uh, frequent or popular. It's the Marchand Bowl chicken flavor. I like it, but in miniature form, once you get a couple, you're like, okay, let's get different ones now. This is so nice. This is such a cool mini. It's the Powerade sports drink, and it's so realistic. I mean, look at it exactly how it should be like there's nothing absolutely nothing wrong with it the paint on the cap look at that it's perfect isn't coca-cola making these yeah definitely coca-cola makes them you think that's why they're so perfect because coca-cola is like listen unless you make them like this and they actually look really good and very realistic there's no deal i always had that impression same with disney ones you know all right this looks new it's another campbell's chunky beef with beef i meant <laughs> beef with country vegetables so it's kind of like this one and honestly i do not know why they're in different containers if there's any difference between them is this one kind of like you know to go you can put this back on whereas this you just open the can and it's opened there's nothing else you can do other than eat it i do not know but i do prefer the can as a miniature that could have been really bad. If I dropped this, that would have looked a lot different than it does right now. Anyway. Many brands, the minis in this series are great so far, but please fix this. Okay, this is definitely a new one. It's, uh, it says post-it. Oh, okay, I know what it is. It's one of those things where you put the post-it notes inside and then you can just grab one at a time and it's shaped like a heart. This type of packaging, when it's in miniature form, it always has a lot of scratches on it, which is kind of sad, but yeah, all in all, it's a pretty good mini. 
Uh oh, guess what? We got a UPS box. Let's have a closer look first. It says UPS Express, extremely urgent. And I'm curious what the address is here. It says Zuru. Yeah, you really can't read the address. Interesting. It would have been cool to have an actual address there, even if it was, you know, a pretend address. I do feel like there's something inside it. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, we got a Dogecoin. A dodge coin. Dodge coin? Dodge coin. Yeah, it looks exactly how you're expecting it to look. This side it looks nicer actually than on this side. What does this say? Currency. It says wow, much coin. How money? So crypto, please. Mine. Very, be very, I guess, rich. Very currency. That's weird. It's interesting how it came in one of these UPS boxes. I thought only, you know, the really miniature ones come in here. See, this is one thing I don't like with these types of packages because chances are when you rip it, uh, what do you call it, if it's paper or something and you're not paying attention, you might just rip it. So in there we got the Jelly Belly Buttered Popcorn. Another jar of Prego Garden Chunky Tomato Onion and Garlic sauce it's really good i'm really impressed with this type of mini this and the other jar of hot sauce and the cans i think they look absolutely amazing and here's another bag of kettle potato chips i was really curious to see if the sea salt is the only type of kettle potato chips that's in there and yeah seems like that's the only one which is unfortunate oh we got another package. Mm, this also feels heavy and I have a feeling it's exactly the same. It's the Dodge coin. Yep, you can already see it in there. We got another Dodge coin. Okay. I really want the packages with the, you know, mystery minis inside. Oh, here's a Tabasco sauce. So this is just a sauce. I thought these uh, only appear in the frozen moment, but it seems like we got it, you know, solo. Here's another can of Campbell's Chunky Beef with Country Vegetables. I still do not mind doubles like these and I'm sure eventually, yeah, they will get to me. But I just think it's such a cool mini, you know? The cans are really, really cool minis, especially if you have different projects in mind and in the future you want to create a different type of can, you can literally probably just take this off and put, you know, your own um, product on them because you can create your own type of cans. Okay, so we got a can of Pringles. I don't know why I thought for a second that they're gonna do exactly the same thing like Sugar Buzz does, where they put a small one inside, because it does show on the collector's guide that there's a, you know, a smaller version of these, so it didn't hurt to try, you know? Okay, more gum. See, I thought I felt currency in there. This time we got pounds. We got a stash of 50, looking really nice for all those of you from the UK. And then here we have the gum, which I'm not familiar with, never seen it in my life. It's the big bubble. Pana fragola, let me see there. Con suco di frutta, it's, um, fruit juice. Oh, this one feels heavy. By the way, for anyone that's keeping track, the date printed on these is 2023, April 12. And I did check before I started this video and all of the balls have these date on them. Also, you probably noticed that I didn't do the usual, let's pull up the collector's guide and put a check mark next to it. And that's because I couldn't find the official, you know, nice looking collector's guide, which if you think about it, it's pretty crazy because if you go to many brands website, there's absolutely nothing mentioned about this series five. So I'll wait a little longer and then maybe I'm just going to create my own guide, you know, using this one that they put in each ball. But I'd rather not do that because first of all, it's time consuming and then it just it just doesn't look as great, you know? So I really hope that soon many brands will post the official collector's guide on their website. Okay, we got another one of those post-it um, heart-shaped Dispenser? Is that what you would call it? I wonder if it says, on yes, dispenser. It says right there. Another classic, the condensed Campbell's chicken noodle soup. Oh, look at that. More money. Okay, I think we have the 50 Canadian dollars. Stash of cash. 
And then in here, we got that uh, weird looking box of uh, Jelly Belly Sours. It just looks weird here. I get it in a way like it, it opens like that, kind of like, you know, the, uh, what do you call it? The little packages of raisins open and then you just put some in your hand. But I don't know, they should have designed this differently. They should have glued it or something. They just put tape. I think that's what makes it look weird. I'm always going to do that. Whenever I get a bazooka, I can't help myself because there is something inside. Some people think there's not, but there is. It's a cluster of gums. This is from series four. It repeats. Not cool. But what I'm looking forward to is to get the really small one. Okay. Just like I tried with the Pringles, I thought maybe they put it inside this one. Really looking forward to the small one. And I'm curious if there's a cluster of bubble gums in that one as well. Uh oh. Oh god. Never mind. As soon as I tilted a little bit and I felt what's inside. And uh, yeah. And this one is also a little bit damaged. The Doge coin. So yeah. So far we have three of them. I am almost 100% sure that some of you guys will have a really hard time getting this one because this is how it is with mini brands. They vary by region. So I'm sure you're going to get a lot of some of the ones that I didn't get here, you know, and we're down to the last one. The last series five, I was going to say series three for some reason, the last series five ball, purple ball, mind you. <laughs> oh. I'm so bad. My mind sometimes is just, yeah. This is the last ball, is what I'm trying to say. I don't know why I was trying to make a big deal out of it, because there's going to be more coming. I'm waiting for a shipment, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. What is becoming of this channel, huh? See, that's what I get for trying to look cool. Let's just fix this real quick. Come on. Come on, we're literally in the same spot and it worked. You know what, I'm just gonna have you stay like that. Same with you. You go over here and then you go right there in the middle. Okay. Not great, not terrible. More Jelly Belly buttered popcorn. The logo looks weird. Yeah. The one on the left is the one I just got. It, it's a little bit off. Oh no, please. Please, not another one. Oh God. It's just that it's such a teaser because you expect something else, you know? All right, another heart-shaped uh, posted dispenser. Okay, I'm gonna be good in. Just put it back nicely now. There we go. That's better. Oh, I did not expect to see this. These are the, you know, what do you call them? The crack. Okay, I'm going to call them what they're, they're called. The toast cheese sandwich crackers with peanut butter. I just know them as, you know, peanut butter crackers. Peanut butter sandwich crackers. Cracker sandwich with peanut butter. Peanut butter cracker sandwich. Yeah, peanut butter cracker sandwich sounds good. Rolls off the tongue easily. But, I mean, is there anything else I need to add? Look at it. They're not all individually separated, you know, but there are two plastic things in there. Sorry to say plastic and ruin the... I don't know the magic of it being real, but uh, yeah, really, really cool one. Interesting how I didn't notice it on the collector's guide, right? And friends, this is the last paper pouch for today, anyhow. And we're finishing off strong with another new mini. This is the Cape Cod Kettle Potato Chips Original Sea Salt. Really cool. Very similar to the other one. It looks better for some reason. I don't know why. Well, we have reached the end of this episode. Right now when this video is posted, I am either on the road or getting ready to go on a road. I'm going on that family road trip that I told you guys about. But yeah, I'm really glad I was able to squeeze this video in before I leave. Thank you for watching, commenting, liking and subscribing. And here's to a brand new chapter 
a brand new Series 5 Mini Brands. Hopefully we get to complete this series before they release another one. Now, as usual, you guys stay golden and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.